her ear. Okay. So let's see. We like it. We're just gonna leave it like this for now. So this is our erase tool. Now we're gonna bring the third picture, which is number forty-three, I believe. No, forty-four. Here we go. Again, I'm not gonna fix her uh, uh, mosquito bites on her forehead. So we bring the picture. Here we go. Now this picture, we know that we want to put somewhere in this area. All right. Now this one, we're gonna name masking. Perfect. So we bring the picture here, and we are gonna shrink it. We're gonna Control T, hold your Shift, and we're gonna make it. Let me see. Somewhere around there. But obviously, we want her to look the inside, not the outside. And if you're gonna do this, shame on you. Uh, you should do it the right way. Control Z. Just come here to Edit, Transform, and Flip horizontal. Click on it. Boom. Done. Perfect. So we're just going to move the picture a little bit this way and we're going to click enter. Now here is the part. Let me move. Let me make this so you can see the difference. Just make it agree. Okay. Two things are going to happen once I click on my uh, layer mask. One is we're going to have our layer mask right here. It's going to be a white square. Actually, more like a white rectangle. And also, these two colors, the foreground color and the uh, background color, are going to change automatically to black and white or white and black. So let's click our layer mask. See, it changed this. And here's our layer mask. Masking, very simple. Just uh, white reveals and black hides. Simple as that. So if I say that black hides, we're gonna. Oh, before I go on, uh, once you once you have your layer mask, you can only use your layer mask with your brush tool, not with the eraser, because we don't need that anymore. We're gonna use the brush tool. So we click the letter. Be on our uh, keyboard, or it's right here. Brush tool. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger, and just for the purpose, we're gonna make the hardness 100. percent So if this is black, and if I'm gonna start painting, look what happens. Like I said again, it reveals. Now, I'm sorry, it hides. Now you might say, yeah, but it's revealing the picture underneath. That is correct. But what would happen if I don't have this picture? What am I doing? I'm only hiding the picture. I might be revealing the back, but I don't care about the back right now. I'm only removing or hiding the picture in front. Here, notice that? Okay, so if I make this white, and I start doing the same, what is going to happen? I'm going to reveal the image. Let me move a little bit here more. Make sure there's no... See? Perfect. It's almost white. So let me bring this picture back and have this picture. Now, we say that we're going to um, hide this picture with black. Uh, let's make the hardness kind of soft. And we are going to make it a little bigger. There we go. Perfect. Uh, now, just for this purpose, we're going to do the following. We're going to move her just a touch. There you go. Perfect. Where's my brush tool? I'm going to make it a little smaller. There we go. And we're going to do this just for this. Let me Clicking a little a few more times. This is gonna be smaller. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna just show so her arm is gonna be. It seems like it's behind her. Just for now. And we're gonna also gonna do her arm. Her uh, dress is gonna be behind. Let me make this uh, paint the other way. Make it 100%. There we go. 
let's just keep it like this. So let's say her dress is behind her, just for the purpose of this. Okay, so let's see, we, we like it, and we're going to save it. We're going to save it as, I think it's little green test. Save already, and we click OK. Perfect. So we are, let's see, we're happy with our uh, picture. We either send it to our family member, to a client, etc. I'm not going to save this. But you know what? Two weeks later, the mother of the little girl calls you and says, Hey, I just noticed a couple things in the picture. Can you do a couple things for me? And you are going to say, of course. So you open your document, and she tells you, Can you make her, the one on the top, can you make it a little smaller? Because I guess the frame is going through and not too close to her. It looks like she's on top. And you're going to say, of course. So you click the uh, particular layer, Control T, and we're going to make it smaller. Here we go. But look what happens. Her hand, her dress is gone, and there's no way you can bring it back. The only way you can bring it back is by doing the whole thing again, meaning bring the picture, transform the picture, and in your case, you're going to erase the picture the way she wants it. So that's not being smart, if I may. So control zero. And same thing. Here, she asks you to do the same thing. Uh, make it, I don't know, maybe smaller and to your, to your right. So again, control T. And we're going to make her smaller. And we're going to bring it right here. And look what happens. It seems like it's happening the same thing. Well, that's not true. Because when you have your masking, remember what I said uh, with revealing? Look at that. Her hand is back. We make our brush black, and we are going to get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. And we can bring her, oh, sorry. White reveals, we can bring her whole new dress back on the picture. That's it. Erase, maybe it's faster, not to be not smart. Masking, yes, it might take a little bit longer, maybe to understand it. When you understand it, trust me, you are going to stay with masking. All right, guys, I hope this uh, helped. Bye-bye.